Meanwhile, People First Party presidential candidate James Song was asked today to comment on the fate of KMT presidential candidate Hong Shou Zhu. Despite Hong's pledge to continue her campaign, there is mounting speculation that she may soon support KMT chairman Eric Zhu as her replacement. And Song strongly criticized the KMT and wondered how anyone could vote for the KMT given President Ma's poor performance over the past eight years. One of the reasons why KMT Chairman Eric Zhu may replace current KMT presidential candidate Hong So Zhu is that her cross-strait policy is out of sync with the general public. There's speculation now that Hong could assist Zhu in his campaign to become president. This provoked a strong rebuke from PFP presidential candidate James Song. The KMT is poised for a major defeat because it chose a person whose position runs against public opinion in Taiwan. And now you're asking this person to help Eric Ju in the campaign? Is this a joke? Song discussed his accomplishments as former Taiwan provincial governor, stressing that citizens must choose a competent person to be president. And now, given the fact that President Ma ying has performed so poorly, Song questioned how the KMT could ask citizens to vote for it once again. The people have given the Ma administration and the KMT eight years. Can you really travel around Taiwan and ask people to continue voting for you and demand that they should allow you to cheat them for another few years? With the election less than 100 days away, Song continues to go on the attack as a means of maintaining momentum for his campaign.